worry wagon. Now, this, this filly's never had nobody on her back. Just up out of the pasture for three or four days. Mm -hmm. We've trimmed her. We've got her ready to go. We've had her wolf teeth pulled. Mm -hmm. And now for the first time, she's got a bridle on. And now this is the first time she's gonna have the card on. And when they take off, you're gonna know it's the first time she's got in that car. She's headed to Bellevue. She's headed to the mountains, buddy. Well, they got a good place to run if they, I mean, I wouldn't hit tangle up in them white fences. Well, I'm gonna tell you though, what, what really surprised me with her is, see how she, watch her now. But watch how quick she calms down and realizes, hey, Who's this driving? That's Jerry. He won't let none of the rest of them do Did that. Did he give you his insurance card before he yep. started? Yep. He, he is the one. See, she's already calmed down. That, that's the best training tool in a horse business. Oh, Lord, draw, yeah. Draw reins in a car. Well, I can tell you, I was tickled with the way, because she would, she would get a little hyper and take off at times. But for the most part, and she knows it's not going to hurt. Her. Hey, and I like the way she moves. What she, what folks don't realize lots about horses is the same thing with a dog, any kind of animal. They're trying, they're trying their best to figure out what you want them to do. Right. What do you want me to do? You feed me every day. I get all water. I get the best hay. Help me. I'm trying to please you. What, what do well, I do? Well, the card. To, does a lot. It teaches them to pull, yeah. use that back end, but the guiding, yeah. and it helps to me, I believe it helps mouth them up to where they get used to the bit and they they guide better and she's Absolutely. already got the head shake. And it also helps Jerry Williams, an old man gets swung against that wall too. Oh yeah. It's a young man's job. But now she, she, she did you know, got a little rowdy a couple of times. Let her. But that's then the, she calmed right down. That's what they do. That's no, no. natural. That's totally natural. If they don't do that, then you might have a, a, a deadheaded cold. A yeah. You don't want no dud. No. See, she's already using her back hand up. Yeah. She's but gonna be cute. He does not do this for that long. I think he, he may have carted her for five to 10 minutes at the most. Mm -hmm. But what he wanted her to do was get used to doing it. And each day, he'll do it a little bit more. This is a basic level cart drive. And then, you know, uh, the big, in the big leagues, they go to a fine harness. Oh, yeah. They go to a fine harness. A little trivia on fine harness. You're supposed to show with undyed reins, undyed lines. You know why? Why? Because back in the 1800s and 1700s, when a lady drove the fine harness horses, they didn't want to get dye on their white gloves. That's a fact. I believe you. I believe you. Call, you're, you. You'd like a dictionary. If, call, you if you don't believe that, call your brother. Call Raleigh Beard on that one now. Call Raleigh Beard. Undyed lines. No dye on them. That's why they say, oh, they got the wrong reins. No, they got the right ones. The little light brown ones. Well, I tell you, I love watching them cart. And I used, yeah. to, I used to out Rise and Star when it was Rise and Star. Yeah. I had one out there. Did you? I took him to the cart and cart him. You? I, I, mean, I told Jerry, I said, I said, don't Jerry bait him. I said, I'll cart him. I'll carry him out there and hook him up. I, I cart him. Loved it.